Welcome to House of Wrestling, everybody. It's me, Nick Hausman. Come on into the living room. Take a seat on the couch. We have a huge guest here in the house today. He is the WWE NXT champion. It is Ilya Dragunov. Ilya, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me here today. Thank you very much, Nick. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, it's a very exciting time for you. Uh, congratulations on your big win at No Mercy and this upcoming rematch you have with Carmelo Hayes. Uh, so I'll start there. How do you feel about Carmelo uh, remaining in the main event picture, getting another bite of the apple here with another match against you for the title? I mean, like, how, how should I feel about this? It is something that doesn't surprise me too much because you just need to look at our first two performances together, our two big fights we had together the people were standing and the the entire audience just witnesses some moments they probably not forget for the rest of their lives so he's obviously an amazing talent but again i replied on this on social media and i think the words that there's going to be a nightmare he won't forget for the rest of his life is pretty clear to me so we can fight again but this championship is not going to leave my hands anymore how do you uh, how do you feel about John Cena uh, having Carmelo Hayes' back and becoming kind of chummy with him these days? I mean, I, I don't have an opinion on this at all because it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't matter who is where and what is in front of me. It doesn't have anything to do with my championship. I know, I know my destiny. I knew my destiny. It was my destiny to become the NXT champion, and I fulfilled it. I know that my destiny destiny is not peace. I had a bit of peace, but I know that those people are coming for my spot. They're coming for being the NXT champion, but they won't be. It's that simple. So I mean, it's been a it's been a really interesting time for NXT. You're seeing a lot more main roster stars on the show. Viewership has been up uh, recently as well. Have you felt the kind of shifting plates underneath you in NXT? Have you felt like this revived energy in the brand as of late? Definitely, but I mean, like, the people are also putting enough effort into this. Like, uh, from every performer in the building that's put everything they have into the performances just to create the best product possible, that we reach those heights at those times right now, even, like, the main roster talent, uh, it was something that just needed to happen because everybody, without any exceptions, is working really, really hard. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you obviously have a lot of history, not with just NXT here in the States. You are over in NXT UK as well, where you held the title after beating Gunther there. How has the how has the NXT that you're a part of now, how is this different than than the experience that you had in, in NXT UK? I mean, it's definitely different because it's just like um, a lot of times in NXT UK, there were a few weeks that I've been over in, in, in NXT UK uh, for making TV, but always coming back to Germany. At this mm -hmm. point of time, I'm in, the, I'm in the States, I'm living in Orlando. I have like TV, NXT, like every week. This is like, I'm so much more busy than I was before that, because also the entire environment changed. Like having the performance center, like very very close to me having the possibility to be around the job all the time it's just made me a so much better performer i mean like i totally appreciate the nxt uk time and it definitely made me the person i am today it was definitely a few big milestones there like the gunter match that uh put my name on the big map but right now being in nxt Especially since coming back to NXT, I've been on the drive, and I've been on the drive for a reason, and the people saw that. Well, one kind of thing that connects your time in NXT and NXT UK is uh, Shawn Michaels. Shawn was very influential uh, working with the NXT UK brand, and obviously he's at the helm now in NXT. Um, recently on a media call, he said that the NXT UK talent he's been so impressed by because you all have come in and become kind of leaders uh, in NXT, which is something he didn't really fully anticipate, is at least what he said. Does that resonate with you? How do you feel when Shawn Michaels says these things about you and the other uh, NXT UK talent that have been integrated you know, into the NXT brand? I mean, I'm obviously very, very proud of that because of hearing that from a, from a person like him, like Shawn Michaels, like a 
as so unique performer back in the days. And I don't, I don't think, don't think I need to put anything over that he did because everybody knows how amazing, amazing he was. He is no other word for that. So, um, that a lot of people like my colleagues from the back in the league's UK times that we uh, came into those positions. I think none of them wanted that position because nobody, nobody see them truly as a leader. But uh, if we have a good influence on the product, on our colleagues, on um, on the general like uh, aura, maybe in the locker room or whatever, that's the best thing you can just do in general for the company and just for the entire brand, I guess. Yeah. Well, you're certainly obviously being positioned in a very good light. You're the champion of the brand. But on top of that, man, they put you in the ring with Cody Rhodes and L.A. Knight uh, two weeks ago. Let's start with Cody here. Uh, how was that getting to share the ring with Cody and, and have that moment there, uh, that, that promo exchange, I guess, with him? That is very interesting. And it was absolutely, I think, a very special moment, not only for me, but also like for the for the audience and the arena and probably for the people that watch it on TV because it's as I said it is as I said in the in the promo, like meeting a person in the ring who stands in a different way for the exact same things you standing for. That is something that barely ever happens. Like you just go get a look at Cody Rhodes. He brings an, an energy, a fire, a passion to the ring in front of those arenas, in front of those people that not a lot of other people can do. And I do that too for NXT. Like the people feel what I do, the energy, the passion, the fire I bring. And this is something very similar. And um, I mean, like this moment, like standing, like. Me and Cody Rhodes together in one ring. I I just was scared that there's going to be an energy overload. <laughs> well, on top of that, you, like I mentioned, L.A. Knight, that guy's got an energy all his own right now. Uh, how was it getting to have him there as a special guest referee? I mean, you guys are obviously top stars, but very different people. Uh, I mean, it, it would seem. Absolutely. Like, L.A. Knight definitely has a success for and very, very obvious reasons. I mean, like, he has probably like uh, more charisma in his little finger than a lot of people in this business will ever have in their entire body. So that's an obvious fact for me. And uh, just like share, it was a weird moment because sharing the ring with him, like for the very first time in this stipulation, just like having him as a referee in the match was kind of like. It, it it was a weird experience. It was still like absolutely something I like to remember again because the whole the whole show on that day was historical, one hundred one hundred percent. But just like just how he soaks the reactions of the people, like the people just like they don't even have the choice to not react to him. They need to react to him. So they reacted to Dominic. They reacted to what I was doing, and they are also automatically reacted to him. So it was a very interesting aura of shifting energies how has Something it been very, very exciting to get you off but how has it been having dominic and judgment day down there they've become such an integral part of the brand it would seem over the past couple months absolutely absolutely i mean like uh, just looking at dominic and the let's say reaction he gets from the crowds not of, not probably from in the best way but i mean just like the people like just like are forced to hate I mean, like, things like these, like that, it is something that only a few people, like, maybe a handful of people can do. Like, just getting these amounts of huge reactions every time somebody steps, just puts one foot into the arena. Getting this kind of reaction, you're going to be an absolute pro to be able to create something like this. And that's something he definitely has, is. And uh, there's so many thinks uh, NXT can benefit from him, but also benefit from a lot of other people that also come into the brand, because I think at the moment, everything is just straight up evolving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it definitely seems that way. And, you know, that October 10th episode, all the stops got pulled out. Obviously, it was a big night. You guys were going head to head with your competition on the other on the other side of the pot, on other side of the road. What was the energy like backstage? Did, did it feel different? Did it feel like you guys were more in in a competitive mindset that particular night with all the stars around and knowing that 
you guys were going head to head with your competition? I don't think so because if there's one thing I know from uh, from the atmosphere in NXT is that it's always an atmosphere of excited people, hardworking people, motivated people, and there is no different exceptions as that. Of course, you got like absolutely outstanding, huge iconic names like The Undertaker, like John Cena on the day at that show. That makes, of course, things different, and um, the atmosphere changes, of course, in a certain way. But every day at work at NXT is like a day with fully motivated colleagues who are absolutely are willing to put on the best show possible. Yeah. All right. Last question here, uh, and I really do appreciate the time here today, Ilya. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, obviously, the Gunther match, like you said, puts you on the map. What a brutal confrontation that was. You guys turned each other into ground beef. It was quite something to watch. A lot of people uh, would love to see that happen again. Obviously, he's on the main roster now. And you both have titles. Uh, considering that you were the one to dethrone him from this very long NXT UK reign, do you feel like you're the guy that could dethrone him uh, from this intercontinental title reign that he's got going on right now? The longest in history. It is a hard question to, to answer, to be honest, because you just got to see, look at him, how good he is. Like, I know I'm good. I know that. Like, I'm doing enough to, to prove that again and again and again. But knowing how great he is and have this feeling inside myself that I'm even not slightly on his level at the moment, that is something that is on one side driving me extremely crazy, but on the other side is motivating me really, really hard. And I think this is like a, this is a thing that is kind of magnetic to each other because every time we stepped together in a ring, it was brutal and it was a perfect David and Goliath story. A perfect mm -hmm. underdog tries to overcome the the impossible story and i'm the perfect underdog i'm so, i'm i'm one of those guys i'm one of the dying breed like a real good brutally fighting underdog and the absolute final boss that you see in gunter and we both embrace our 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 persona so well that this is like the perfect mixture this is something people want to see doesn't matter how often it will happen so if I'm the one who's able to do this, actually, I can't say if I really know this. But if I get the chance to, you can make sure that I'm going to do everything I can to be that guy. Man, you are, I, like, you're very nice here, but you're a very, very scary man in the ring. I would not like to be taking chops from you. You talk about that that ultimate underdog thing. It, big, I, you know, kind of Brian Danielson vibes I get off of you sometimes when I watch you in the ring with the physicality and just the intensity you bring to your action, you know? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, Ilya, thank you so much for the time. I uh, really appreciate it. Is there anything you'd like to, uh, any any place you'd like to send people to find you, follow you, support you, anything like that? I know. I think that people know where to find me. It's Ombuzik Bazaar. Uh, Ombuzik Bazaar on Twitter, and it's Ombuzik by Dragonov on Instagram. Thank you very much for all the support, and I appreciate every single one of you who does.